welcome back to my channel. So today I have my top 10 favorite lipsticks for the fall to show you guys. And I'm super excited for this video, one, because I have my brand new lipstick holding case and these are all the lipsticks that I'll be showing you guys today. But um, super excited, I got this from TJ Maxx for $5. They have a lot of acrylic like makeup holders and makeup cases, so go check that out. There's a lot of good stuff there. <laughs> and number two, I held up four fingers. And number two, this video is a collab with one of my favorite YouTubers, Alexis May, and her hair tutorials, guys, they are freaky good. Like, they're so perfect and on point. You must check them out. She's amazing. She's also doing her top 10 favorite lipsticks for the fall as well, so I'll probably buy everything that she shows me too because I'm a bit of a lipstick junkie, and it's just who I am. It's just who I am. So, yes, go check out her channel. It'll be linked down below. And yeah, if you'd like to see my top 10 favorite lipsticks for the fall, then please keep watching. So the first color that I have to talk about is Crazy for Coffee by Maybelline, and I totally recommend this. I just picked it up today, and I was like, yep, you're going in my fall favorite lipstick video. So I love it so much. It's the perfect nude for fall. It's a little bit more cinnamon tone, a little bit more dark than your average summer nude color, which is usually a pink or peach based. Love this color so much if you're looking for the perfect nude fall this is your guy. <laughs> so this is definitely one of my most reached for reds and this is Alabama by NYX. And I love this so much because it has some like almost brown undertones, kind of like a rust undertone. I love how it's more of a deeper red rather than a more orange tone red, especially since it's more blue based, it'll make your teeth look a lot whiter. I love this so much, I always reach for it. It's very matte, which I love. I love the finish of it, and it stays on really, really well. I went out one time and I didn't even have to touch it up all night because it's just that amazing. So if you don't have this guy in your collection, you must buy him because he's amazing. <laughs> am I getting creepy yet? Yes, I am. <laughs> I have to show you guys is Rum Richie by Maybelline and this is another one that I see myself wearing a lot throughout the fall. It's kind of similar to Crazy for Coffee except it's a little bit more pink toned and it has more of a shine to it so if you're really into mauve -y, glossy lipsticks then this will definitely be right up your alley because it is amazing. It feels amazing on my lips and I definitely feel like it's moisturizing them so your lips won't feel dry throughout the day. I knew in the fall things can get a little bit dry so this will be nice and moisturizing for you. So this next lip color that I'm about to show you is actually a mixture of a match made in heaven. This is Heroin by MAC and this is Sigali, which is actually an eyeliner by Hard Candy. By itself, Heroin is more of a warm tone purple and Sigali is a really cool tone purple. So the two mixed together makes the most beautiful purple baby ever. And now I'm definitely getting creepy on you guys. Anyways, this is a match made in purple heaven and if you're looking for a really cool tone purple, this is a great mixture to try out. I actually have a combination of two colors by Wet n Wild, Cherry Bomb and Stoplight Red. I love Cherry Bomb on its own, but I popped a little Stoplight Red in the center just to kind of pop my lips a little bit more, make them look a little bit larger. If you're kind of experimenting with colors, I definitely recommend Wet n Wild because they're very inexpensive. I think each of these were $2 a piece, and they're really great quality. There's such a wide color selection. So if you're really not sure which colors work best for your skin tone or what colors you tend to lean towards, Definitely check out Wet n Wild because you're really not investing a lot of money and once you find out what colors you kind of lean towards, then I would invest in a more expensive lipstick. But if you're kind of just experimenting, Wet n Wild is definitely the way to go. So this next one right here is Mauve Night by Revlon and I definitely, definitely love this. It's very creamy and shiny on the lips. I always tend to veer towards mauve lipsticks, so something with a purple undertone. I don't know why, I guess it's my comfort zone. But if you don't have anything with purple undertones in it, I definitely recommend this. It's a nice starter, it's not too dark, and it's nice and wearable, so definitely a nice gateway to the mauves. <laughs> color that I have on my lips is Bear It All by Wet n Wild and definitely one of my favorite lipsticks 
out of my whole collection and it's definitely one of my most inexpensive ones. I know I have a few Wet n Wild lipsticks in this video and that's because they really are my favorites. I love the consistency and I love how matte they are. They stay on for a very long time and they're really inexpensive so I'm definitely building up my collection slowly but surely and you know I should just buy them all at once because they're so inexpensive but um just love them. I love them so much. So definitely check out Wet n Wild lipsticks if you don't have any yet because you will not be disappointed I promise. fall colors if I had to pick one out of my whole collection it would have to be Rebel by MAC and I know that's saying a lot but I just love the berry tone the consistency is beautiful creamy and it has a little bit of a sheen to it just a, just a little bit just enough and I just I love the formula of it so I know that's saying a lot if I had to pick out of all of the lipsticks in my collection Rebel by MAC would be it for fall enough said enough said So this is definitely by far the most vampy lipstick out of my whole video here and I love it so much. Um, I obviously don't wear this color every day, it's not a very wearable color, but if you're trying to dip your toe into the whole black lip trend that's going on right now, I definitely recommend this because it's a really nice way to ease yourself into wearing black lipstick. It's not necessarily black, it's more so an extremely, extremely dark purple and I definitely recommend it if you're trying to, you know, go with the whole vampy lip. I don't wear this every day, but on the days where I really want to be vampy and sultry, this guy comes in handy. So the final color I have to show you guys today is a Stila Matte Long Wear Lip Color. And I honestly love this formula. It stays on for such a long time. I wore it all 4th of July last year, and I didn't even have to touch up once. It was amazing. It has this beautiful matte velvety finish to it, and it's a little bit drying on the lips, but to be honest, I really don't mind if it's this long lasting and it doesn't like wear off, or if you like kiss your hand, you won't see any any marks. So you can wear this on a really hot date if you want to wear something vampy and not worry about kissing your date because it's not going anywhere. So I definitely love this formula, love this color, and it's beautiful. Not gonna lie to you guys, as much as I love filming this video, I'm very happy that it's over because I feel like my lips are gonna fall off because I've been putting lipstick on and taking it off and putting it on and taking it off and my lips are hurting inside and out. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Alexis May's channel because she's amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to her. And yeah, I will talk to you all next time. Bye.